Welcome to Mazak New Technical Center here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, my name is Mark Vaughn. I'm an application engineer. with been with Mazak for over 30 years, uh, working with various different customers. And we're here to show off our QT250 MSY done-in-one machine. Uh, this machine has a Y-axis, uh, double slide, four inches of travel, plus or minus two inches. Has a stable bed casting, and it's got two spindles. Main spindle is a standard 10-inch chuck with 35 horsepower, got 358 torque pounds, and also it's got a 3.15 through spindle bore for bar. The subspindle has a standard 6-inch chuck, 15 horsepower, and uh, also this machine has live tooling in a vertical or horizontal position and also has a parts catcher. Another feature this machine has is utilizing the second spindle for a transfer operation for a first and second op. If you're doing bar work, you can use a cutoff operation also. In addition, uh, you can program C-axis using indexing or contouring down to a point zero zero one degree. So now I'd like to show you a demo of the QT250 MSY. Okay, here we see in the video that the turret is coming down to face off the part. Uh, it will start uh, roughing the OD of the material. Uh, we're taking a number of depths of cuts here and then we'll do a finished cut after, after we're done with the roughing. As you can see, uh, the coolant pressure that we're using, uh, I believe we're using like 213 PSI. And here we're coming down with the drilling operation. We'll be drilling uh, the part. And then after the drilling operation, we will um, call up the ID bore tool. But then before we start boring, we'll call out the tool eye. And we'll come down here and automatically measure the ID boring bar to ensure the proper size that we are cutting. And after we finish with that operation, we'll bring the milling unit down and we are milling the OD of the material, putting a hex on there. And then after that, we will drilling. Uh, there's four drill holes in the flange. And after we get done drilling holes, we'll go back with the finish tool, finish tool to ensure uh, the proper finish on the OD. And once we get done finishing the OD with the finish tool, uh, will we bring the second spindle up and do a transfer operation? We'll actually pull the bar out of the main spindle, and then we'll do a cutoff operation, which will then we'll cut it off to length. And once we cut it off the length, the second spindle will travel back to home position, and we will finish the second side. We will do a facing operation. And of course, we'll do a rough turning of the OD. And we'll do a finish turn of the OD. And then we'll also finish the ID of the part. Take in mind that uh, you do have milling capabilities on the second spindle also. We don't show them here. But uh, now the parts catcher should come up after we finish the boring operation and we'll catch the part into the parts bucket. The parts bucket will then unload it to the conveyor which will then exit the finished product onto the parts table. <laughs> 